today. Are you good? Yes or no? Yes, I think I heard mostly yeses, and that is great. And if you did say no, that's okay. I'll send you some love. Okay, today we are going to practice working with the letter G. And G makes two sounds. It says G, G, and J, J. Now, we mostly hear the G, G sound. And you might be wondering, why am I touching my neck? Take your hand. Touch your neck. Now say G, 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 G. <gasps> Did you feel that? So cool. When your voice motor is on, it makes that cool sound. Or make, you can feel that cool sound, I should say. G, G. Okay. But we're going to work with the letter G. We're going to practice making it. We're going to practice writing it. Then we are going to check out some animals that start with the G or J sounds. So you will need your helper, which is the grown-up that's with you, to help you get your supplies. You will need your G paper, uppercase G's, lowercase G's, and start dot all by itself so that we can make them on our own. And, of course, something to write with. A pencil, a crayon, marker, whatever you have available. So, go ahead and have your helper, get your supplies, and meet me back here so we can check our schedule. Okay, friends, we have two jobs today. We're going to practice making and writing the uppercase and lowercase g. Then we're going to check out some animals that start with the g or j g sounds. So awesome. And when we get to the star, we'll be all done. So, let's go. Okay, friends, let's get started with our uppercase g. Sometimes G is written in two different ways, so I'm going to show you both of those ways. You will see a big curve, and it will go straight up and in. There's also a way to show it where you are your same thing, big curve up. Then you pick up your pencil, and you make a little line across. Now, the pieces that Mrs. Huey has, it's probably going to look more like this one, because that's just the way the pieces work. But when I typically write it, Mrs. Huey, I just usually use this one. So, let's get started. Now, when you make a G, th these pieces, it looks kind of crazy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to magically make this so it looks like this. Are you ready? Check it out. Ta-da! Okay, so now I have one piece here and it looks kind of crazy. Okay, friends, let's get started. Watch Mrs. Huey first. Just like always, we always start our letters at the top. So, I'm going to make my big curve and go up. And then I'm going to add my little line across so I can have my uppercase G. So these pieces, it will definitely look more like this. Okay, ready? So you get ready to finger write anywhere. On the table, on your hand, on the carpet, on your leg. Doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. Start at the top. Big curve. Go up. And then a little line across. Yes! Okay, let's do it one more time. Here we go. Ready? Change your finger writing spot. Here we go. Big curve and up, and then a little line across. Yes! Okay, now let's look at the lowercase g. Okay, friends, now lowercase g is also a little bit tricky because we do not have a piece that looks like this, this big line down and then a little hook at the bottom. So, Mrs. Huey is going to have to magically create it. Here we go. And poof! There we are. Now we have one piece that looks like this part of the G. Okay, so watch Mrs. Huey make this. We are going to have a little curve, and then we're going to go up, and we're actually going to go down to the basement. So when you go downstairs, you go down to the basement. So I like to say I go down to the basement when I'm making my lowercase g, because that means I'm going to drop below a line when I'm writing. Okay, so let's watch this. Here we go. Watch Mrs. Huey first. I'm going to start with my little curve, and I've been on the curve, I still start at the top. Little curve, and then I'm going to go all the way back up, and then down in the basement. Yes! Okay, watch that again, because it's a little bit tricky. Here we go. I'm going to start with my little curve, and then I'm going to go up, and then down in the basement. Yes! Okay, now you get the fun part. Remember, finger writing on the table, on your hand. Whatever. Okay, let's do it together. Here we go. Little curve. Now keep going up and then down in the basement. Yes! Okay, let's do it again. Ready? Change your finger writing spot. Here we go. Little curve up, down in the basement. Yes! Okay, 
Now, let's practice writing it. Okay, friends, let's get started writing. Okay, I'm going to use a marker to make sure that you can actually see it. And I put our uppercase G's up here because remember, some people make them this way and some make them this way. So I'm just going to keep them up there and we'll see what happens. But typically, I usually just do this one. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start on the green dot. Watch Mrs. Huey first. I'm going to make my big curve and then I'm going to up and in. Okay, now you try it on that first dot. Here you go. Big curve, up and in. Yes, awesome. Okay, now let's do it. Let's just go ahead and add this one. Watch this, here I go. Big curve, up, pick up my pencil and make that little line. You try it. Big curve, you can go up and pick up your pencil and that little line. Nice. Okay, here we go. We're just going to, let's just do that the whole way. We'll just keep making them um, one than the other. All right, so we're going to go back to this one. Start on your green dot. Big curve up, straight over. Yes, nice. Okay, now let's do this one. So we're going to pick up our pencil. Here we go. Start on green dot. Big curve up, pick up, and then that little line across. Yes. Okay, now we have it all on our own. And guess what? You get to choose which way you want to make it. If you want to make it the first way, go right ahead. Or if you want to pick up your pencil with a little line, you do that. I'm going to do it this way. Okay, here we go. On green dot, big curve up and in. Yes! Awesome! Okay, now let's get rid of these. Okay, now let's focus on our G, our lowercase g. Remember, we have to go down in the basement. Okay, so we're going to start up here with our little curve. Watch me first. Little curve up, down in the basement. Okay, your turn. Start on green dot. Little curve up, down in the basement. Yes! Okay, let's go to the next one. Here we go. All right, on green dot, let's do it together. Little curve up, down in the basement. Yes! Okay, let's keep going. Little curve, here we go. Start on green dot. Little curve up, down in the basement. Yes! This is so awesome! Okay, ready? On green dot. Little curve up, down in the basement. Yes! Okay, now we have to do it with no tracer. I know we can do it. Here we go. On green dot. Little curve up, down in the basement. Woo! Yes! We did it. Okay, let's check our schedule. Check schedule! Yes! Oh my goodness, that was awesome. We were practicing making the uppercase and lowercase g. We had to go down in the basement. It was awesome. Let's check that off. Ready? Check! Okay. Ooh, now let's go check out some animals. Let's go! Okay, friends, here we go. We have some animals that start with the g, g, or j, g sounds. Okay, let's see what our first one is. Oh, look at that. They're grasshoppers. G, g, grasshoppers. Ooh, grasshoppers, they are pretty cool. I like to watch them jump really high. That's pretty awesome. Okay, let's see another animal. And the next one is, oh, oh look at that. It's a gorilla. G -g gorilla. Oh, gorillas are so cool. They are actually the largest of all the apes. And super cool fact, they get most of their water from their food. So they probably don't just sit there and drink out of cups or anything like you and I. They get most of their water out of food. Super cool. Okay, let's see another animal. Next we have, oh, ooh, look, it's a giraffe. Giraffe. Ooh, now this one still starts with G, but it has that j, j, G sound. So giraffe, giraffe. Now, Mrs. Huey, I love giraffes. They are very cool. And guess what? I got to feed one one time at a zoo. Oh my goodness. And it took its tongue and it wrapped it all over my hand and I started freaking out and it was hilarious. But anyway, that was pretty crazy. So, let's see our last animal. 
And the last one is, oh, ooh, it's a g -g goat. Goat. Now, this is a special kind of goat. It's a Rocky Mountain goat, but we, it's still a goat. And it has lots of really thick fur so that, that it can survive up in the cold weather. Pretty cool. Okay, friends, let's check our schedule. Check schedule! Woohoo! That was awesome. We got to practicing some animals that either started with the g g or the j j g sounds. It was awesome. Which animal was your favorite? Ooh, I heard a lot of gorillas, but I think Mrs. Huey, I think I have to go with the giraffe. I like the giraffe. They're pretty cool. I love their long necks. Okay, let's check that off. Ready? Check. Okay. Oh, and look at that. We made it to the star. You know what that means. We are all done. Big heart for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can learn with Mrs. Huey. Bye. It's Huey time. Bye.